Uh, uh, uh. Hey friends, what's up? Ash here with GenSense. Hope that you're doing well. Do you notice uh, some similarities here? Yeah, me too. Today, we're gonna be talking about a fragrance from the house of Latafa. It is called Kamra. And in case you, you couldn't tell, this is a clone of By Killian's Angel Share. I know, it's uh, it's hard to tell that that would be what they're going for, but it is, believe it or not. So this fragrance I got from fragrancebuy.ca. A little while back, they had a banner on their website that said Latafa Kamra coming soon. Those who know, know or something like that. So in today's video, like always, I will show you the presentation. I will break this down for you and I will let you know, is this the alternative to angel share that you need to get? So let's jump into it. So I'm gonna have this one linked in the description below in case you wanna check it out. As of when I'm filming the video, this is sold out. It sold out like that basically when they got their initial batch of these in, but according to their website, it's supposed to be coming back into stock. So as of when this video is being shot, it's out of stock, but when it goes live, it may be back in stock. Like I said, I'll link it in the description because it says on their website, they're supposed to be getting more. How many more? I don't know, but they should have some soon. So let's do the presentation first. First up, the box. And actually, I think this box looks way better than the By Killian box. So By Killian is being outdone by Latafa in terms of just the box. So here is the front. You got the name of the house, the name of the fragrance, has a little wooden look to the bottom of it. You have Latafa on top of the box. On the back, you have your badge code. Mine expires 05-2027. On the bottom, you have your ingredient information. Now, when you lift the box up, you can see the size and the concentration and a very reflective kind of gold backing there. And the bottle sits down inside, makes a really nice display for it. For a cheap Latafa, looks good. And by comparison, here is a By Killian box uh, that Angel Share would come in, ignore the name. This is just the closest one I had, but the box is the same. So you can see there, the Latafa much bigger and frankly better looking. And here is the bottle. Now I think the bottle for the Bikillion looks better, but the Latafa bottle looks good too. All things considered, I mean, you know how ugly some of these clone bottles can get. So it has a really nice design to it, feels very hefty, very heavy in the hand. You have the name of the house, name of the fragrance on the front, name of the house on top of the cap, and then on the bottom, you have a sticker. And I just wanna tell you guys, this cap, this cap is on there, like this is, a very, very stout connection with the cap to the bottle. Like this is not coming undone. So feel free to pick up by the cap. It's super safe. I do think overall, aesthetically, the bottle of the Bikillion looks nicer, but do keep in mind that the Bikillion here is a 50 mil and the Latafa is a 100 mil. So it is a, a bit bigger, a bit bulkier, but uh, overall still very, very nice for the price here. All right, so the presentation, it's all gravy. It actually looks for a clone house really good, which is saying something because I am not a fan of 99% of clone house bottles. I think they're some of the ugliest bottles on the face of the planet, just absolutely atrocious looking. Even some of the most popular clone fragrances, I think their presentation is just utter garbage. So for this one, to be as nice as it is, that's a, an extra point for it, I guess. You don't have to be embarrassed by the bottle on the box here. Oh, before I forget, let's spray it out. Just so you guys can see the atomizer in action. Actually, the atomizer for this one, it kind of sucks. There we go. So none of this matters. Ultimately, how does the fragrance smell? And is this a good alternative on the cheap? to Angel Share. Well, when you first spray this one on, it actually smells a bit different than Angel Share. It's kind of like Angel Share with a twist, you could say, in the open. And the very first time I smelled this, I kind of went into it with the mindset of, it's gonna smell like Angel Share, exactly like Angel Share. So when I sprayed it on and I gave it a smell, I kind of went, oof, ah, they kind of missed it there. It's not exactly Angel Share in the opening. So my first impression was, mm, Dang, not quite there. But then I put that aside and I smelled it as it is and wore it subsequent times after that. And uh, man, that opening is addictive. It's sweet, it's spicy. It's actually more fruit forward than Angel Share. So Angel Share is a little bit more on the boozy side of things, whereas this is like a sweet kind of gourmand mixture of uh, praline 
and dates and um, cinnamon and a, a touch of a fruit in there. <laughs> it smells really good. It, it is different though. Like I said, Angel Share is much more booze forward immediately. As soon as you spray it on, you get that cognac and that becomes really the focal point of the fragrance that everything else works around. With this one, it actually has a, a little more going on there initially. So in the opening, a bit different. You could say yes, still similar to Angel Share, just with the twist. Now, as it dries down, it gets much closer to Angel Share. So that opening is where it differs the most for me. This does start to pick up a little bit of that booziness, but you also have additional vanilla in there. So you have uh, more of a sweetness coming out underneath this one as compared to that oak and wood that comes out of Angel Share. In Kamra, you have warmth, you have resins, you have that spice that continues on, you have that, that vanillic sweetness, you have that gourmandy kind of praline and dates, all that going on. You get a little bit of woodiness in the far dry down, a little bit of like an amber woody kind of vibe, but not as much, not as pronounced as an Angel Share. So this is certainly uh, not a one-to-one -one with Angel Share. It doesn't smell exactly like Angel Share, but it does have a strong similarity, especially after you get out of that opening. So 100%, this is an Angel Share clone, but it's an Angel Share clone in the way that like, Club de Nuit Intense Man is an Aventus clone. Like you can spray Club de Nuit Intense Man over here and spray Aventus over here and smell them and you'll be like, oh yeah, yeah, there's, there's definite differences when you smell them side by side like that. But for a lot of people, when they smell Club de Nuit Intense Man in the air, they go, oh man, that's Aventus, baby. Sometimes they like it more than Aventus. Don't shoot me, I'm just the messenger. I like Aventus more, but I know a lot of you out there. And if you're one of those proud Club de Nuit Intense Man lovers, let us know in the comments. There are a lot of people out there that love CD and I am more than Aventus. The first couple of times I wore Comra, like I said, initially I was going, oh, it's gotta be one-to-one -to, -one to Angel Share. And then it wasn't, and then I was like, okay, well, what's the same, what's different kind of running through my mind instead of just enjoying it. But I caught whiffs of it throughout the day. And each time I was just like, oh man, what is that? What did I, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was that Latafa. Just catching those hits of it, that sweetness, that warmth popping off my skin and it smelled something fierce, really good. And of course, with this having that similarity to Angel Share off my skin as it dried down, the wife absolutely loved it. And truth be told, after that first time, I actually prefer the opening to the Latafa to the Baikillian, which is like blasphemy. Yeah, blasphemy. Now, all this said, absolutely, I think this is the best alternative to Angel Share right now that you can get. Obvious clone bottle is obvious. Just be aware, if you have not smelled that, that in the opening, when you spray it on, if you're expecting Angel Share, you might be kind of taken aback and be like, wait a sec, that's like way more fruit forward than Angel Share, there's less booziness, there's this, there's that, that's different. It's in the same ballpark, the same family, the same style, but the opening is a bit different. Once that settles in, especially coming off the skin, darn close, just additional vanilla, and a little more of that, that sweetness from the tonka, the dates, the praline, the vanilla, all that stuff coming through, uh, that you don't get as much in Angel Share because Angel Share maintains more of that that cognac and, and woodiness as it dries. Even though I'm telling you those differences as it dries, it is still darn close to Angel Share, especially in the air. And man, this is this is one of my favorites that Latafa has done, I've got to say. It exceeded my expectations after that initial wearing. Initially, I was kind of, oh, but then it grew on me like that. Uh, let's talk performance, all that. But the first time I wore it, I thought it was pretty weak because I wasn't picking it up. And I was like, oh man, it's kind of already petered out on me here. But then, uh, as I had mentioned before, the first couple times I wore it, I started to catch whiffs of it in the air. So it was one of those deals where it was like I was going nose blind for a little bit and I would forget that I had the fragrance on. I'm sure you've had fragrances like this. And then you just catch a big waft, like a wave of the stuff comes over you and you're like, "Woo, that's still there. It's still pumping out like that. All right. But it lasts a long time off my skin again. You have to spray a little bit extra coming out of this atomizer, but it lasts a long time. You know, seven, eight hours off skin, no problem. Projection really solid as well. So it's not a fragrance that's any weaker than Angel Share off my skin. Season wise, gonna be more uh, fall and winter time fragrance. I think daytime or nighttime either. And this fragrance just kind of following up on all these other clone fragrances that I've been getting my nose on lately here. Some of them better than others, but a lot of them are surprisingly just nailing it, killing it. Either getting extremely close to the fragrance that they're trying to emulate or doing it with a twist 
that makes it like its own fragrance in a way while still being very close to the fragrance that it's trying to copy, to emulate, to be inspired by. And with Kamara, I've got to say, I, I don't really have any complaints this time. It doesn't come across with like an alcohol -y tinge or edge when you first spray it on. It doesn't have that that air of cheapness that some clone fragrances have initially when you first spray it on, you know, the first 10, 15 minutes, it's a little uh, and you go to dry down. The opening, as I've said like 12 times now, is a bit different than Angel's share. So it doesn't have that cheap edge. And then the presentation looks nice this time. I mean, the only thing I can bust on is the atomizer sucks. I mean, if that's the worst thing that we're going for here, that's pretty good. I'll take that. So there we go, guys. Latafa Camera really good alternative to Angel Share. I understand why Fragrance Buy put that up on their website and made a big deal about it and it got my attention anyway. As I said, uh, sold out as of when I'm filming, but it's supposed to be back in stock soon. And actually I'm just noticing now that on the bottle, it almost looks like a K. So it looks like uh, the design makes a K right here. I guess a K for Kamra, right? Yeah, not a K for Killian, no, no, a K for Kamra. Yes, because they're trying to do like the little kind of K design right here on the on the Killian bottle. Oof. All right, guys, that will do it for me. Another solid Latafa. Link in the description to this one in case you want to check it out. Let me know if you've smelled the Latafa and if you have what you think about it in the comments below. Let me know if you think uh, for the price it measures up to the Killian. Thank you for hanging with me. Thanks for your support. Stay safe out there. I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you later.